From FX Empire, this is Christopher Lewis taking a look at the British pound for 2024. You can see that the pound has kind of gone back and forth. And uh, 23 has been very messy. I believe that 2024 is going to be the same thing. Uh, 120, uh, 125 seems to be your fair value level. We have the 200-day or excuse me, 200-week EMA and the 50-week EMA right here squeezing, but they're also going flat. So I think you will see them slice through multiple times. A couple things to think about during the year. The Federal Reserve is likely to step in and uh, loosen monetary policy again. And as a result, I think we have a situation where you probably see some... Uh, bullish momentum for the British pound due to loosening monetary policy. But eventually uh, what generally happens in this situation is the market turns around. Number one, it gets overbought, but, but it also turns around because people suddenly start to focus on the fact that, you know, the federal reserve is, is losing rates because the economy is getting worse. And then you see a shot down, people jump into bonds and then eventually the Federal Reserve does something like step in and buy corporate credit, you know, things that it really shouldn't be doing. And then people buy risk assets. So because of this, I would not be surprised at all to see more chopping back and forth like we have in 2023. And in fact, across most asset classes, that's what I'm seeing. I It's kind of setting up for more of the same. You know, just think back here, 2019, 2020. For the most part, that's exactly what happened. You could just replace it with 135 and like 118, 117. So in this environment, you're probably going to be more or less range bound. Now, it is a massive range, and that is a feature of volatility. I mean, range bound can also mean 400 pips, but that's not what this year is going to be like. Uh, I do think that there are a lot of geopolitical concerns that could come in to help the U.S. dollar as well. Uh, but the Fed has a long history of reacting too late. So then they come in and they panic rate cut. And that works against the dollar for a minute until people start to worry about their portfolios. And they think, well, wait a minute, all these companies are going to struggle. I need to buy treasuries. And then that drives up the U.S. dollar. We are going to have a moment like that in 2024. Uh, but in the early part of it, it might be more or less a celebration of interest rate differentials heading back in favor of the pound and the Aussie and, and other currencies like that. It's the trajectory. They won't be in favor of these uh, some of these currencies for some, some time, really, or may never be. You just don't know. Uh, but uh, the traders are going to try to anticipate that. Short term, probably bullish. But I think the year looks a lot like this again.